Railway sway is the phenomenon of passing trains leaning towards each other. I'm going to try to explain this in a way that relates what we've learned about Bernoulli's principle to what we all can kind of understand. Let's say we have a train that's going 70 miles per hour north. Due to friction, there is, in effect, a film of air that covers the outside of the train and is pulled along with it. So here in blue, I've shown this film of air that's pulled along as the train is traveling north. Now, we're going to assume that the exact same air particles that are a part of this film are always a part of the film. That film is in constant flux, but for now we'll just assume that the same air particles are a part of that film. So here we have a passenger standing at uh, the train station and this train is going past. Now relative to the passenger that air right there is moving 70 miles per hour north because that film of air moves along with the train. The other side the air is basically traveling at zero miles per hour. According to Bernoulli's principle, high velocity air exerts a low pressure and low velocity air exerts a high pressure, which means there's going to be a net force on this passenger towards the train. You may have felt that. If you've ever uh, been passed by a bus or a train, you might feel like you're being pushed towards the train or bus and that is exactly what happens. Let's see if you can exercise your imagination. Now assume, weirdly, that you are one of those air particles on the east side of a northbound train. So this little dot is you. You are an air particle going along. You're essentially kind of stuck to the train. You're a part of this film. You go along with the train. Let's ask a question. Relative to you, how does the train move? Well, the answer is it doesn't, because you're part of this film and you're moving along with the train. So you have no relative motion relative to the train. Relative to you, how does the air just east of you move? In other words, right here, how is that air moving? And the answer is, it's moving 70 miles per hour to the south. As far as you're concerned, you are at rest and the air just to the east of you is traveling 70 miles per hour to the south. Now, look on the other side of the train. That air relative to the train is also traveling 70 miles per hour south. So there's no push one way or the other due to Bernoulli. Now, what if you have a southbound train? that's going 70 miles per hour south. There's another film of air here, we've colored it red, and that film is traveling 70 miles per hour along with the train. When we move those two trains together, close together, and here you are, you're this yellow air particle right here, let's ask the same question. Relative to you, how does the air just east of you move? Relative to you, this air just to the east of you is not moving 70 miles per hour south anymore. That was when we were only considering the northbound train. Now if we consider the southbound train, that air just to the east of you relative to you is moving 140 miles per hour south. And now look at the train that's bookended by these blue air currents. On one side of the train you have relative to it 70 mile per hour gas particles and on this side of the train you have 140 mile per hour air particles. Slower moving air exerts a higher pressure. Faster moving air exerts a lower pressure this blue train is going to tend to be pushed to the right towards this red train. Similarly, the red train will be pushed to the left towards the blue train. That's my best shot at explaining railway sway. 
transportation engineers have to take these forces into account when they're designing rail lines. You might actually have experienced something similar to railway sway when you're driving in a car. If you're in a small car on a two-lane highway, be careful when a truck goes past you moving in the opposite direction. You might have noticed that sideways forces are not nearly as noticeable if you and the truck are going in the same direction, such as when you're passing a truck on the interstate. If you've been on a two-lane road and you're in a small car and a big truck is coming the other way, you might feel like your car is pushed towards the truck as the truck goes past. That's railway sway. The same phenomenon applies for boats in water. When ships pass each other going opposite directions, they give each other a wide berth. Ships going the same direction, much less to worry about with regard to Bernoulli.